everyone. Today, our topic of discussion is critique template. And we are going to discuss a little bit about how to use uh, this particular feature in the best way. Today's focus is on um, this aspect of literature analysis, which is essentially uh, to convince oneself when one is about when we when one is trying to critically analyze and assess a particular paper and that itself it can be time consuming can be uh, can can be messy at times if not structured properly so we are going to talk a bit about how to do a structured way of doing critical analysis how to collate our thought thoughts and ideas how to remember the notes that we are making with the right context, how to quickly compare our notes for future compilation, how to do focused group discussion on, on a particular paper that can be also in the format of a journal club, and how to quickly do a recap of papers that we have already read before. In a nutshell, what it boils down to be is that we need to structure our present when in the, in the context of literature analysis. And a lot of times this kind of situation can come up, right? We, where we need to quickly compile a summary of all the papers uh, that we read, let's say over the last two months, but our notes have become cryptic, all the sticky notes and all the scribbles that we have done on the papers that we have read you know much of that is no longer understandable because we have lost the context or we have forgotten the context under which we have actually scribbled those things and many of the notes are even scattered so the very first topic we are going to talk about is how to collate your critical analysis just make sure that you know if you have to come to racks the website is raxa.io. Here we are. When we walk into, when we sign up or log in, we would be seeing our research projects. And I would be focusing on one particular research project that I'm currently working on, which is Research Paper Summarizer. Let's say that I now walk into a particular paper that I'm reading, and this paper is about summarization using certain kind of neural network techniques. So imagine that I'm reading this paper and I am kind of trying to do a critically analyze what this paper is all about. So what happens is whenever I upload a paper, what Rax does is that it, it generates something like a critique template with all the specific questions as a default uh, that can be very useful to analyze this paper properly. You can also modify some of these questions according to your discipline or according to your specific research topic or research problem. You know, you can also work it out, work this template out together with your advisor or with your lab mates, and then you can reuse it. And another interesting thing is that you can click on the split view button and what you can do is that you can actually read the paper simultaneously and then work on these questions. So these questions uh, have multiple different uh, use cases and utilities. The very first thing is that for, for people who are new to research, it actually gives you a fantastic way of figuring out what are all the key, key and important research questions that you really need to ask when you are reading a paper especially when you're trying to read a, a good paper. You should not miss out on those questions. And that's kind of like a constant reminder. Of course, you can do, you know, the, the usual way of taking notes, which is you can always, you know, select certain sections of the paper, start making my own notes. But then the problem with that is that a lot of times when I come back to the paper and let's say for compiling purposes or to revisit the paper and if I click on this particular note, a lot of times I tend to lose the context of why did I even scribble this note in the first place. So what happens is for a critic if I do the same thing but under the right research questions like as an example uh, you have these questions like what are the main arguments, what are the premises or assumptions taken by the author and then you come to the approach or method aspect of the paper 
and is the approach consistent with respect to the assumptions made by the paper what are the key findings observations or insights what are the limitations of the argument or claim and you can also jot down all the things that have yet to clarify regarding this particular paper so you see that you know all your notes whichever whatever you will be scribbling you can scribble it under the right research questions and that makes you remember the context in which you actually took that note so so that's another aspect where you're you're kind of like trying to collate all the different aspects of the paper on into their corresponding sections so that when you come back and you try to do a recap or something like that it's a lot more easier for you to do the recap also another aspect of it is you know you can explore uh, while you are doing a critical analysis by sort of uh, let's say I'll go back to this thing and let's say that you are writing the, about the main arguments and let's say that while you're writing about the main arguments you want to know more papers which are related to this argument so you can select this section and then you can click on this literature button which will fetch you all the papers that have a very related narrative of what this section is all about and then what I can do is I can attach it this particular section then what happens is that it all gets attached over here with this particular critique so that's another use case that you know pretty useful another thing that is useful is that when it comes to focus discussion with your teammates or with your supervisor maybe with your collaborator so what you can do in in that case is that you can share it with your with your collaborator and once you share it with your collaborator an email invite will go to your collaborator and once your collaborator accepts the invite then what happens is that you can see your collaborator and then you can start a discussion thread and the way to do this discussion thread is that this is the button that you can cl click on which actually helps you to start a discussion thread something like this so so that's sort of like how you can actually have a very focused discussion something like a remote or a virtual journal club while you're working on uh, on this on this particular paper so so that's uh, another interesting aspect because otherwise a lot of times you know when we do journal club we tend to lose out on a lot of important topics that we otherwise have done uh, have thought about or have done proper assessment on and that might actually uh, be lost finally to conclude some people think that critique template is about writing a detailed review like what a paper review would be but that is not really the case it's actually scribbling down your ideas scribbling down your thoughts scribbling down your analysis of the paper or your critique of the paper maybe in just bullet points under the right research question thanks for watching the video uh, I hope you would be uh, using Critic Template a lot more often.